Hey guys, what is going on? This is Kale. I hope everyone is doing well during these crazy times. So it looks like I'm going to be off work myself for a bit now. So I've decided to take the challenge upon myself to upload daily YouTube videos to my channel. So a lot of the stuff is going to be lesson related stuff, of course, with ideas that I'm working on and performance stuff as well mixed in. But I thought, you know, there's a lot that I've learned over the 15 plus years of me playing guitar. So I wanted to share that with you guys and uh, I hope that it can it can help you. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about major scale patterns. So specifically patterns of three, patterns of four, patterns of sixes. And the reason why I feel this is important to learn is first of all, they're very helpful when it comes to improvising and writing your own stuff and just coming up with ideas. Because a common thing seems like when you're playing a scale, you learn the scale, but then it's like, how do you use the scale? It's also important to note that with these patterns, you can use them for any type of scale. But for today's video, we're going to talk about them with regards to the major scale. As always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. All right, so for these patterns, first of all, I just wanted to show you the scale that we're going to use. So we're going to use a G major scale. Now, like I said, you can do this uh, in any position that you would like, but I like to do it in this position. I guess I would call it second position, but I like it just because it's got three notes. Each string, you're playing three notes of the scale. So it's a sixth string, you're playing three, five, seven. And then same thing on the fifth string. Then same thing on the, the fourth string. Uh, sorry, four, five, seven on the fourth string. And then on the third string, four, five, seven. And then five, seven, eight on the second string. And then same thing on the, the first string, five, seven, eight. Okay, and you also want to play it backwards. So the first step is to know the scale, just playing it up and down. Okay, so we're gonna start with patterns of threes. And instead of me tabbing it out and you trying to memorize it, I'd rather you learn the method behind it so this way it's easier to memorize. Okay, so what am I doing there? So, the first thing is to learn the scale, which I showed you how to do already. And basically what I'm doing is from each note of the scale, I'm going up three notes. So this is the first note, G, which is on the third fret of the sixth string. So we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're going up three notes. One, two, three. Now the next note, or the second note of the scale, is the fifth fret, which is an A, on the sixth string. And you're gonna go up three from that note. And then so on. Now you're going to go from the third note of the scale. And you're going to go up three notes. And then so on. Fourth note, fifth note, which is a D. Then E, fifth note. And then. So from each note of the major scale, you're going up three. And you're always alternate picking. That's never changing. So if you've never done this before, it is pretty tricky. It's gonna take a lot of practice, practice to get down. But I promise you, they're very important to learn and will be very helpful when it comes to your playing. So one more time. So it goes from the third fret of the sixth string, and the second note of the scale, which is an A. Alright, so that is patterns of threes, and you would do the same thing going backwards as well. You can't neglect going backwards, that's very important to learn as well. So. Alright guys, so the next patterns is patterns of four, so let me show you how that goes. And then backwards. And 
The patterns of fours are the same thing as threes when it comes to like the method behind it, but you're just adding an extra note. So you're doing the same exact thing as the patterns of threes, but you're starting from each note of the scale, but you're doing four notes. So from the first note on the sixth string, which is your G, that's your root note, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four from the second note, and then from the third note, and then from the fourth note, and then so on. And then you do the same thing backwards. So that is how you do the patterns of fours. Okay guys, so now the last one that we're gonna do is patterns of sixes, which for me is the toughest one to do, but you guessed it. It's the same thing as the patterns of threes and patterns of fours when it comes to the method behind it, but now you're just doing six, six notes from each note of the major scale. So that's how that goes. All right, let's do this. Now we're gonna go backwards, which goes like this. Alright guys, so there you go. You have patterns of threes, patterns of fours, patterns of sixes. I promise you these will be very helpful with your playing if you learn them. It's going to be very difficult if you've never done these before, but like I said, I assure you that they'll be very helpful when it comes to writing your own stuff and improvising. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer that for you. And as always, like the video please, share with a friend, and subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. Okay, thank you guys, and uh, we'll talk soon. Peace.